welcome everyone to accept a purchase request on the parent iPhone. You're going to slide down from the middle of the screen and the parent request should show up right here. If it does not show up, then what we're going to do is if your iPhone does not have a home button, you're going to slide down from the far right hand side. If your iPhone has a home button, you're going to slide up from the bottom. And if you have any focus here, do not disturb or any focus, turn this one off temporarily and then slide down from the middle and you should see the request. Now, if you still don't see the request, then that means on the child iPhone, the request was never sent. So what you will need to do is let's have a look. So in my case, Vimeo was requested. And so if you go on a child's iPhone, it should show a message saying something along the lines of to get the purchase downloaded, approve or proven person. So if you don't see that message like this, the child's iPhone you just needs to tap on get again. And you're going to go through until you see this, the ask. And then once you see this, there we go, the request was sent. What happens a lot of the time is the ask button never shows up. So the request was never sent, which is why on the parent iPhone you can't see it. If you have that spinning wheel issue, then the first solution would be to press power and volume down together. And then you're going to turn off the iPhone. Once it's turned off, you'd go back into the app store and try again. Now, if that doesn't work, you may need to reset all settings on the child's iPhone. So this one, like you won't lose your data, but we need to go to the settings. And then we need to tap on general. And then we're going to tap on either reset or transfer or reset iPhone. And then we're going to see the reset option and you just select reset all settings what this will do is you'll need to reconnect your bluetooth devices wi-fi devices and it will remove your wallpaper but it will also make the app store start functioning so you just re-download the app and the request will be sent this time and it will show up on the parent iphone if you see the request show up on a child's iPhone, but not the parent one, there is the option to a proven person. And this requires you to enter in the parent Apple ID. So it's not like the child can just approve with their own login. And that would also approve the download. And with that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.